I can hear the whispers. It's starting all over again. Most of us are probably aware that the Joker has committed some terrible crimes. However, what he did to Thomas Black Crow might be among the worst. You see, Thomas is a journalist who doesn't understand one thing. No, seriously, I am asking someone to explain it to me. What the hell is so scary about a clown? Tommy, you have no idea what you're talking about. Thomas informs everyone that in his view, the Joker is just a goofy, insane individual, and that he believes people create tales about him being a frightening demon without any valid reason. I've sat down at a table across from a general who ordered the slaughter of 600 of his own people. Entire villages burned, bodies left out to rot, children. That scared me. This guy is a joke. He explains to his work colleagues that he wants to research Joker and write an article about him. His colleagues once again try to stop him, but their boss simply... Shut up! The lot of you! If Tommy's the only one who wants that challenge, so be it. And that's when Tommy starts his search for the Joker. He quickly manages to track him down and witnesses him speaking in the midst of some sort of meeting. It was the coldness in his eyes that took me by surprise. He seemed so different on the camera. So alive. So engaged. It should have frightened me. I know it should have. But there was something in there drawing me in. Two of the Joker's associates start arguing about money. But when the Joker hears this, he starts telling a joke. However, when no one understands it, he simply... No! I don't explain my jokes! ...decides to kill one of the men using acid. And that's when I put it together. That's when I had the angle nobody had seen before. I knew exactly what he was in that moment. <gasps> and damn if it didn't make me want to laugh. Joker manages to hear the journalist and instructs Harley to catch him. Without knowing what to do, Tommy starts talking to the Joker about his accomplices. They're all terrified of you, and you... You're all alone. You don't have any friends. Yes! That is pretty funny! But I think I can get a better laugh out of you. That's when Harley grabs a bazooka, but... Robin and Batman show up to the rescue. I think this is the part where you run. Robin tells Tommy that the smartest thing to do right now is to run away. And that's exactly what Tommy does. What the hell is wrong with this city? And that's when... You asked me why you should be scared? This is why. One year later after the incident, Tommy's colleague informed him that the Joker had managed to escape from Arkham. They found a copy of your editorial from a year ago under his bed. But Tommy doesn't seem to really care about his colleague's warnings. I don't know why I even bother with you anymore. No, come on, man. Don't go. The night's just getting started. That's when Tommy decides to go back home, but when he does, he smells something weird in his house. Danny? He starts shouting his roommate's name, but that's when he sees... <laughs> his roommate, dead. Was he your friend? Your best dude in all the world? Your pal of pals? We, we worked together. Bialya. Oh, how nice! I tried to ask him, you know. But he just wouldn't stop trying to strangle me. <laughs> Joker grabs Tommy and secures him with ropes in a manner similar to what was done to his roommate. He then explains to him that he is his best friend now and promises to visit him forever. We're going to have so much fun together from now on. Mm. Is this the part where we hug? Ah, yes, that feels nice, doesn't it? Joker escapes Tommy's apartment through a window and promises that he will see him again soon. But then we witness the arrival of the police at the apartment. Batman informs Tommy that he managed to catch the Joker and put him in prison again. Six months later, we see Tommy quitting his job. It's clear that the incident with the Joker changed him. And then we find out that the Joker managed to escape Arkham again. Tommy explains that he changed his name, address, his whole life, erasing everything that might help the Joker track him down. But just to be safe, he starts checking the house to see if everything is locked down. <gasps> and that's when he notices an open window. Tommy quickly runs to the kitchen, grabs a knife and starts searching his house. Just in your head, Tommy. There's no way he could have climbed up. No way he could be in the apartment. Tommy tries to calm down. 
but that's when he notices something on the floor. <gasps> One year later, we spot Tommy, who managed to change his appearance drastically. An older guy approaches him and shares that something with the Joker just went down nearby in the city. Molly! He jumps in the car and keeps trying to call his wife. Molly, are you there? Please pick up! <laughs> Please. <laughs> Molly! But that's when he sees the bad news. La, 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 la. Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> oh, let go of her, you monster! Let go of her! Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> Is that any way to talk to your best friend? John, please help me. Joker pushes Tommy's wife away, but he manages to grab her. He then explains that he's upset with Tommy because he didn't receive an invitation to the wedding. That's when Tommy breaks down and starts begging Joker to kill him. No, no, no. I could never kill you, Tommy. You are too important to me. You're my only friend in the world, Tommy and I'll never let you go. He then lets them know that he has something to share. Beautiful, isn't she? And proceeds to display graphic pictures of his victims. <laughs> Hello? Officer Strode, it's, it's me. Months go by, and we see Tommy calling to the police station. A police officer reveals that the Joker inexplicably cut off his own face, and Tommy continues to call daily, hoping to learn if the Joker has returned to reclaim it. He's not back. Hell, how could somebody even survive without a face that long? He's probably never coming back. No, he's out there. Then we see that Tommy is calling from a wooden house somewhere far away from civilization. It's evident that he is grappling with a poor mental state. Despite his friends attempting to reach out to him, he consistently ignores their calls. His wife, Molly, has left him for another man. Now, he spends his time alone in the cabin, and it's during this solitude that he hears this. <laughs> Hello. peek a -boo. Joker grabs him and brings him to the basement. There, he explains that he's mad because Tommy once again ignored him for months. And that's when we get to see his altered new face. Here, I've, I've got, got bad girl somewhere, somewhere around here. Tommy points a gun at him, and Joker instructs him to shoot it. But when he does... <laughs> here, take a nap. It'll all be over soon enough. It's going to be okay, Tommy. You're safe now. I don't know what to say, guys. A detective arrives at the scene and delivers some shocking information. Is it bad? Worse than bad. There's nothing. No sign of a disturbance. Hell, he just went to bed last night and woke up screaming. Tommy tells the policeman that he definitely saw the Joker. But later, he gets really upset and tries to attack the detective with a knife. Luckily, the detective talks him out of it. I need to put the guy in psychological evaluation. We can't leave him here like this. And that's why now we see Tommy walking in Arkham Asylum. His friend Warren comes to visit him and tries to get him out of there, but Tommy simply instructs Warren to go home because... There's only one person who's ever been my friend. He doesn't care about my past or that I was a jerk. He hasn't been by in a few days, but I know he'll be back. You don't have to worry about me anymore, okay? Hello, Tommy. Oh, thank God, Eric. I thought maybe he'd gotten you. Just promise me you won't leave and you won't get hurt. I've lost too much in the last five years. I can't lose another best friend. Promise me you'll be there, Eric. Please promise me. Always. <laughs> <laughs>